All right, what is up guys? Today we are going to create another movie poster and it's El Camino this time. As a Breaking Bad fan, I couldn't resist not doing this, so I hope people like Breaking Bad and let me know in the comments if you do. You're goddamn right. Okay, now I got rid of this background with a pen tool, so in case you didn't know how to do that, I'll just put it link up in this screen. Now let's go on from here. Just gonna use the same size, so I think this photo is gonna work out very well. So once you made that selection, apply lay mask, so you don't have the mask anymore, and let's put this here. Now, first thing we want to do here is to make this photo black and white. So, best way to do is is not with the saturation because it doesn't always look right. So, I'm gonna use the black and white adjustment layer so we can here select different different presets for black and white. Sometimes the other one works better than the other one. So, just going through these and see which one looks best. I think this one is okay. And let's see, maybe the blue, so we have a little bit of that lightness popping out. Let's use this. And I want to make this photo a little bit sharper. So I'm going to go to camera raw filter here and bring up the sharpening. We have like these red lines. So let's go on with those. So I'm just gonna select the rectangular tool and just copy this red. Like that. Let's do this one. And let's disable this for now. All right, now, I still want to use one of these blend modes, so I'm going to copy this layer and change the blend mode here, one of these. Let's disable this for now and let's use Vivid Light and bring this up again. So we use like two, two layers for it, one to get a color in the skin and want to make it more red. Make sure we have those here. And now I want to make a mask of it. So I'm going to select this folder with these lines. Now hold on control and press on the layer of, of himself and select inverse. So right mouse click select inverse. So we select the area around it and make a mask. Right now we need to edit this photo and create some curves here. So we can make some areas darker. And I wanna make sure this face isn't dark. So you have lighting coming from somewhere on the left side here. So make sure this these areas are lighter again. Right now let's do some contrast here so brightness contrast and let's increase this a little bit and bring down the lightness and we can do some levels here this is fine I have a feeling this original one isn't like let me put it to the top here it's not totally black and white it has like a little bit of color you can see it here so let's bring a little bit color back. So this is our black and white filter. Now, if you wanna bring back some, we can just slightly drop this. So this was with color, and this is without. I'm gonna search something in between that and let's edit the color of itself. So I'm gonna create a color balance here. And let's see what color was it. Was something like a little bit pinkish, red something like this 
So it's not totally black and white, but it's like still colorless. Extra curves here. And I'm gonna have a little bit of these mid tones lighter and the darker tones darker. So I'm just gonna make like this S curve. Get some more light. Okay, now his head is like cut off here, his neck. So this part, I'm gonna brush it away. It's getting pretty close. Right now, when I make this text, I'm not sure which font it is, but it looks like, let me put this on top of everything or else you can't see it. It looks like Bebas font. I'm just gonna use this one as an example. And we can just stretch it out to get, get it more like that font. So I'm just gonna put it above it and make sure it's almost the same. Not exactly, but almost. Now to create that, that grudgy effect like it's been, I don't know, like it's old or something. How do you call that? I'm gonna just create a mask on this text and select the brush. Now you want to go to your legacy brushes. This is standard in Photoshop. If you have all the Photoshop, I think you don't even have legacy brushes. You just have all these, all these folders. And you want to make something from the dry media brushes. So I'm gonna use one of these. Just make sure you select black as a color and bring up the opacity and flow. This is maybe not the right one, but you can already see how it works out with these brushes. So make sure to use a dry brush and just go around the text and don't, don't go around this because you will see a pattern here. And so what I usually do is just go around the edges to get some spots around the edges. And once I have that one, I'm just changing the brush to another one and pretty much do the same and maybe sometimes some areas inside it and play around with different brushes that I have here. This is also pretty cool because you can really delete some text here, but don't want to do that too much or else it won't be visible anymore. So just do it slightly. Right now, once you got that, you can drop the opacity slightly. So it's not, not really popping white, but a little bit old effect. And to get that line around it, just use this tool and make like this line. You can select here the stroke. So I'm just gonna select this and basically do the same as with with the text so again with a dry brush you can just get rid of all those parts again now we can also do some dodge and burn here i'm just gonna do it but it's not even necessary with this photo this photo was already good for this one so i'm just gonna create a new layer here and fill it with 50 percent gray and do some dodge and burn changes to overlay and let's do some burn first. We can make some areas darker. So this was before and this after. Makes the image look softer and sometimes works out pretty well. Now I just imported this into Lightroom. I usually do that without the text because I don't want to ruin the text here. So I just import this into Lightroom and I'm going to apply one of my presets. So you can get all these presets. It's in the link down below. Let's 
So this is what I just created in Lightroom. I got this in Photoshop again, and I'm just gonna put this above all the other layers. And drop the opacity because this is a little bit too much. I don't know how you call this, like cartoon effect or something, I don't know. And you can bring this back. So now we have this poster. I think this is ready and bring something extra when you change it like that. And you can always do some color balance here too. Maybe edit these colors like that. So yeah, that is it for this one. I hope you learned something new again. Don't forget to like this video and especially don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.